when they were younger? I, 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 don't, I don't know how with it. Uh, normally, you don't. Yeah. Usually, your first answer. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I think, I mean, it's not. It's not Who said, yeah? What man said that? That one, yeah. right there. <laughs> it's this guy. It's this guy. best not to bring it up, and you don't have a situation. What does Corey Lewandowski have? And don't you. <laughs> I just got that. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know about that part. Yeah. But I, I, I do think, um, you know, I see truths in both. So I absolutely see what is clearly a kill the beast occurring from the left, right? So, you know what? No, this wouldn't have been an issue. Yeah, but I don't. Here's the thing. Of course, I mean, <laughs> like, I went to high school. Um, so I think that I don't care what anybody does in their personal life, but Lauren Boebert does care what other people do in their personal life. So but the personal life is in so, public education. VVAC, VVAC is what mm -hmm. she called him. I don't. I That's, that is what was so ridiculous. Everything that comes out of her mouth is ridiculous. But for her to make that kind of point about someone that we all know that that regardless how you feel about his politics or his, him running, that he is undeniably brilliant mm. is so ridiculous. Smarter. <laughs> yeah, I just don't think she's very good at giving examples. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you're, I mean, if you want to prove Republicans are dumb, and the one example you pick. Is the literal biotech executive? <laughs> but it, what, what's amazing about it is that every old hippie—you never know, and man. He's an old dude. Yeah, he looks and like he, he thinks he has two microphones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, <you> know, <laughs> <laughs> Just off screen is a giant Jamaican nurse who's like, that is, <laughs> and he's like, she's stealing from. The end of the day, he can write whatever he wants, and the public, the publication company can choose whether to publish it, and you can choose whether to buy it. And if you find it absolute nonsense and his defense of it equally so, then don't buy it. But he was canceled from the board, right, from all of his positions. So I'm saying this neutrally. Just rejecting all traditions. No, I, th I think that's a, a noble way of looking at it. I think this guy uh, just has zero respect for anyone. If the dress code was being relaxed for a health issue, for a religious worship issue, of course, that's what exceptions, that's what growth and evolution is for. This <laughs> just doesn't care about his its constituents. He doesn't care about the Senate. The reason that when we show up, what that means, that includes what we look like, it's because we are honoring what we are showing up for. I wish that he would honor all those people that put his, himself into office because he is supposed to represent them. And when I look at him and he just looks like a, a middle school basketball coach, what kind of message does that send to the people of Pennsylvania? To the people- Well, no. Coming to work. No, you don't <laughs> at all. I don't if you be... saw it, you'd be disgusted. No, he's right. Um, <laughs> because I don't want to be cold. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm not in the government. And I just, he does dress like Adam Sandler. And that's an insult to Adam Sandler. <laughs> Do you think he likes to wear active wear cat? He wants to look relatable. He wants to be like, I'm just like you. But it's impossible to be in the government and be just like me because you work for me. Yeah. Yep. Also, so, you still look, he doesn't look relaxed. He looks like if you saw that guy, you'd want to call the police and say, I found the guy you're looking for. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? That's uh, funny you'd say that. I think.